I, I see it as an opportunity. It, it kind of brings hope. Yeah, these tiny homes could be a big relief to a specific group of Sacramento's homeless population. They're the first of their kind, two dozen cabins that will house young homeless people. CBS 13's Ryan Hill is getting answers on how they're expected to get and keep people off the streets. They look like a bunch of normal young adults hanging out, but their lives have been anything but normal. Basically, I've been homeless for over 10 years. Just got kicked out when I was 12, and I came from Modesto to out here. And just been on the streets ever since. Maybe a year and a half ago, I found myself evicted. Different circumstances all led to the same outcome for Desiree Stout, Javante Mimit, and John Perez. Homelessness. But there's a new option on the horizon for them and people like them between the ages of 18 and 24. That's because the city of Sacramento just approved more than $5 million to build 24 of these small cabins next to the Church of God in Christ on Grove Avenue. The goal is to give nearly 50 young homeless people a place to find jobs, get the help they need, and transition into a new life in 6 to 12 months. Sounds amazing. I just wonder what's the qualifications for that because there's many of us and they can't help everybody. We had the same question for the First Steps Communities, the local nonprofit that will operate the cabins. The executive director says they'll use a modified version of a current system that places homeless people in a transitional housing based on vulnerability. Things that go into considering who's vulnerable, mental health issues, substance abuse, and how long someone has been living on the street. The cabins bringing more than just shelter, but hope as well. It lets people know that we're actually being heard and we're not just a forgotten cause. Now those cabins will cost around $50 million and are expected to be up and running at the end of the month. The rules of living there are still being worked out, but drugs and alcohol are banned.